Hello, GRT community. My name is Chris Wilson. In this video, we'll be going over what the graph is, some key staking facts, how to install and fund MetaMask, and staking GRT on the graph. I've included chapters in this video, so feel free to jump around as needed. But first, let's go over the basics on what the graph is. The graph is a decentralized indexing protocol for organizing and efficiently accessing data from blockchains and storage networks. The graph is accelerating blockchain application development and its growing subgraph network. You can think of it as a decentralized Google for Web3 applications. Indexers are node operators that index data and serve queries in a query market. The graph is currently being used by an ever-growing list of Ethereum dApps. In early 2021, Figment joined the graph as core developers. Together, we believe that the future of Web3 is multi-chain and decentralized. This is what we aim to build. If you would like to learn more about the graph, I recommend exploring thegraph.com. Now that we have a basic understanding of what the graph aims to accomplish, let's look at some key staking facts for staking GRT tokens on the graph network. Rewards are accumulated daily, but distributed based on when indexers claim rewards. For example, Figment's indexers distribute weekly. Rewards are automatically restaked, compounding when distributed, there are no slashing penalties for delegators, tokens are locked during the staking period, and it takes 28 days to unbond or unlock once staked. There's also a 0.5% token burn when you delegate to a new indexer. Say you delegate 100 GRT for the first time to Figment Prime, 0.5% will be burned, meaning you'll delegate 99.5 GRT in total. And finally, make sure to leave some extra ETH in your wallet for bonding and unbonding since gas for the transactions is paid in Ether. Armed with the basics, we can start staking GRT on the graph. Our first step is to set up MetaMask and fund our wallet with GRT in Ethereum. If you already have your MetaMask wallet set up and funded, you can skip ahead using the chapters in the description or by clicking the arrow above the timeline in this video. All right, let's navigate to metamask.io to download MetaMask. And make sure you're at the right web address, metamask.io, and we'll click download. Here, we'll make sure that we're downloading for the right browser and click install MetaMask for Chrome. So now that we've added MetaMask to our browser, we can go ahead and click it to get it set up. And here, we can go ahead and click on get started if you already have your MetaMask set up on another browser or another computer, you can import that wallet by importing the secret recovery phrase using this option. For us, we will be creating a wallet. So we can click on create a wallet. Here we can choose to help improve MetaMask by sending data. I'll choose not to send data. Now we can set up a password, agree to the terms of use, and create. Now before getting started, you can watch a short video to learn about secret recovery phrase and how to keep your wallet safe. Or you can check out our video about what is custody. I'll link that down in the description where we go over several different ways of storing your private keys and some of the best practices. And here we have the most important part of setting up your wallet. And that's properly storing your secret recovery phrase. This phrase can be used to generate your wallet and access your funds. Anyone with this secret recovery phrase ultimately owns the assets associated with the wallet. You can store this phrase in a password manager like 1Password, or you can write the phrase down on a piece of paper or several pieces of paper and secure them in different physical locations. I would recommend keeping this offline, so don't store it on your desktop or on your computer that you use to connect to the internet. Another option is to memorize the phrase. Here, we'll click to reveal our secret phrase. So we'll take our 12 words here to open up a little notepad just to demonstrate that you would have this written down on a piece of paper and you'd go next. Now it will ask you to confirm your secret recovery phrase. So we'll make sure that they are written in the right order and once you have all of them inputted in the right order, we can click confirm. Congratulations, you passed the test. 
Now we want to, again, make sure that we have saved a backup in multiple places. Never share the phrase with anyone. Be careful of phishing. MetaMask will never spontaneously ask you for your secret recovery phrase. In fact, no one will. If anyone ever asks you for your seed phrase, they are trying to scam you. 100% guaranteed. If you need to back up your secret recovery phrase again, you can find it in your settings under security in MetaMask. And remember, this is a non-custodial wallet, meaning you are in control of your funds. Your secret phrase is the key to those funds. And once we have everything backed up, we'll click All Done. You can go over a little bit more on what's new and what to do. Our first step now, once we're inside of MetaMask, is going to be to import tokens. Because we are going to want to add the graph token, GRT, to our MetaMask and import tokens. So when we send in the assets to fund our wallet, we'll see them down here. And to fund your wallet, your address is right up here. You can also go account details and have access to a QR code and see your whole address. You can also come down and export your private key again if you have lost your backup. All right, so the next step is to fund our wallet. So we'll send over some ETH and some GRT to this address. Since the next step is to fund our wallet with Ethereum and GRT, we're going to want to have a basic idea of how much Ethereum staking GRT will cost. So you'll have to pay gas to stake and gas to withdraw. So you want to make sure you have enough to do all of the staking transactions. For this, we'll be calculating four transactions. To figure out how much gas we're going to need, we can come to etherscan.io slash gas tracker. Here it updates in real time what the expected GUI is. So watching this, you can see it's kind of been jumping around from about 143 to about 170. So we'll refresh it real quick. And now we're at 169 GUI. So this is about the high end of what we've been seeing. So we can go ahead and take our calculator and go 169, nice, times four, and that's 676 GUI. So we can come over to a GUI to USD calculator. This one's provided by automatedwebtools.com. And here we can go ahead and put in the 676. And down here we'll see that that is $442.22. And that's how much Ethereum will need to do four transactions at the current gas rate. And if it drops down like it did, our rate was 169. So we'll want to remember that when we're checking when we go to do our transaction. Now we can jump over to an exchange where we can get our Ethereum. And in my case, I'll be purchasing some. So we'll go ahead and get that 443. We can go preview buy. Looks good. And we want to view transaction. We can pull that up and there's all of our details there. And then we can go over to send, to send all. And then we'll open our MetaMask. We're in our account with our Ethereum and our GRT. So we'll copy the address, paste in the address. We'll go back, make sure the last digits and the first digits are exactly the same. And they are, and we can continue. Send now. And there's our Ethereum all sent over. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing with GRT to the same address. Just like with the GUI calculator, we have some cool calculators over here on graphscan.io slash hashtag indexers. So to give you a quick rundown here, we have, we're on indexers, and these are who we'll be delegating to with our stake. Here is how much of the effective reward cut they take and the effective quarry fee cut. And then here is your estimated APRs and historic APY. Now here's the cool tool. We can go over here to the reward setting and we can choose how much GRT we will be delegating. And then over here we can see our estimated daily reward. So for me, let's go with, 2000 GRT and that'll be half a GRT every day. That's pretty awesome. Now we can jump over to an exchange where we can get some GRT. There we go. Buy now. View our transaction and there we go. And now we can come over here to the send. We can go send all, open our MetaMask, copy the address again, paste the address down, make sure double check the address is correct. Hit continue, send now. And there she is. So fast. So now that we have our wallet funded with Ethereum and GRT, we can get to staking. There's two ways to go about this. You can go to the graph.com slash explorer slash participants slash indexers, or you can go to the site we visited earlier 
graphscan.io slash hashtag indexers. I like to use them both. So you can come over here to this tab on subgraphs on thegraph.com, and you can see how who has the most subgraphs. And here we have a 100% quarry fee cut and a 100% reward rate cut. So you wouldn't necessarily want to delegate to them. And then if we look down here, the best rates with the most subgraphs is Figment Prime 2. And that's what I'm looking for. If you wanted to delegate straight to this one, you could do so right here. I like to come over here because I have my estimated APRs and historic APY. I can go back down to our reward setting and how much did we end up with? 1988. And it's still around 0 0.5. So awesome. So the first step to delegating is connect our wallet and we can make sure we're on the right account. And now that we are connected, we can go to Figment Prime 2, click on it, click on delegate. We can see what we have in our wallet. We can see our delegation. I want to delegate all. And then we will submit transaction. We'll have to sign for it on MetaMask. We can see the fee associated with it. Confirm. And then we will sign again. Success. And we can see our details by clicking over here in the upper right on our address. We can see our current delegation is 2000 GRT. Delegated total, 2000 GRT. I think it rounds up and the rest of our charts. Well, congratulations. You've just staked GRT. Yay! See, it's that easy. In case you missed it, be sure to check out our videos in the What Dat series. These videos include a breakdown of Web3, staking, ETH2, and custody. You can find links to these videos and more in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and ring the bell to stay up to date on all things Figment. At Figment, we're on a journey to create a truly decentralized internet where users can freely interact, share, collaborate, and exchange goods and services in a trustless environment. To help deliver that vision, we offer staking, middleware, and application layer solutions for token holders and developers investing in and building on Web3 technologies. We're on a journey to build a better internet, keeping privacy, data ownership, transparency, and censorship resistance top of mind. Thank you for watching, and if you found this video valuable, make sure to share it with a friend. As always, if you have any questions about staking or how Figment simplifies blockchain for you or your organization, you can join Staking Hub with the link in the description. I look forward to seeing you there, and until next time, happy staking.